What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to Volume 9 of Donovan's Den. It is Sunday, December 3rd, 2017, and tonight I'm going to give you guys three ways to keep your woman from sleeping with her coworkers. Now, first off, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, I mean, obviously we all know that there's no bulletproof way to keep your woman from cheating. There's no way to keep your girl from fucking her coworkers or anyone else she wants to sleep with. If a woman wants to cheat, she's going to cheat. That's that's just all there is to it. Those who listen to me regularly know that I am a strong proponent of keeping tabs on your woman's phone, her computer, her tablet, uh, and, and her other devices with a GPS, a key logger, and other monitoring software uh, to make sure that she's not doing anything she shouldn't be doing or putting herself in situations that could lead to infidelity. I myself use these strategies with my own woman. I have key logging software on her phone, her tablet, or computer. I don't allow her to be on social media. She doesn't have Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media. Yes, she has agreed to this, and that brings me to a very important point when it comes to implementing these measures. And that point is that your woman has to want to be this transparent. She has to want to forfeit all autonomy. You can't force her to do anything she doesn't want to do, and in order for her to want to do this, you have to A, be the kind of man she wants to do this for, and B, be the kind of man who demands this of her. Women aren't going to give up their autonomy and their privacy for just any man, and they're damn sure not going to volunteer it. I've talked about both of these things at length in episodes 53 and 54 of TSR Live. Well, the same thing applies here, guys. In order to keep your woman from running around on you at her job, she's going to have to su- she's going to have to surrender to you in ways she's not used to to, to surrendering. And you've got to be the man who's got the balls to put this stuff in place. Again, nothing is guaranteed, guys. If a girl wants to fuck around on you, she will find a way. Okay, my girl included. But you're not going to make it easy for her to do it. All right. There, there's no need to give your woman the vehicle with which to fuck around on you with. A lot of guys, and listen, a lot of you guys don't agree with this approach. All right. A lot of you guys call me insecure and possessive and all that other bullshit that women like to call men to shame them into giving them the space they need to cheat. And that's okay. All right. But there's a big difference between being insecure and being territorial. And if you want to know more about that, go to episode 45. But if you're a, but if you are a man who is willing to do what most men are unwilling to do, if you're a man who's capable of doing what most men are incapable of doing, then keep listening and you'll be the only guy whose wife or girlfriend who isn't fucking her coworkers or her boss. Now I'm going to let you know up front guys, this is not going to be easy at first. This is going to take some work and there's going to be a learning curve. But you've but if you've got a woman that you feel could be good for you long term, if you feel like you have a woman who is going to be good for you in terms of a long-term partnership, long-term relationship, or possibly even a wife, then trust me when I tell you that it is well worth the work. And after the adjustment period is over, it'll be second nature for the both of you, and you'll have one less thing to worry about. And if you're willing to put in the work, guys, you'll be thankful you did in the long run. So let's get to it. 